Hey guys, this is Bailey with Scott Leroy Marketing, and today I'm going to show you how you can create an email newsletter through the new email campaign templates in command. To get started, I'm going to sign in. I'm at agent.kw.com and I'm signing in with my username and password. From here, let's click on the icon that looks like a megaphone and that will bring us into campaigns. To create a new campaign, we will click create a new campaign at the top right and then select email. For the campaign name, I'm going to call this monthly newsletter and then choose a goal. I'll just choose brand awareness. And today I'm going to select command email because I want to send this to my command database. Next, click set up campaign. From here, we're going to configure our email on the left and it's going to build our email on the right. So steps one and two are already selected for us. Step three, this is our recipients list. You can choose to edit your email list here if you haven't already done so or create a new email list. I've already created my email list, so I'm going to just go ahead and select one from this drop down menu. Step four, this is our reply to email. Because I chose command email, this is already selected for me. This is, it already plugged in my name as the sender and the reply to email. If I need to edit this, I can go ahead and click edit and that'll actually bring me over into this page, into applications, where I can scroll down and change my reply to email and sender name here under command email. Step five, step five is the subject line. I'll just call this monthly newsletter. And then step six, we need to actually build the newsletter. So I'm going to go ahead and select design content for your email. Now this brings up our email campaign templates. It first brings up my templates. These are email templates that I've created previously. So if you've already set up your newsletter template, you can go ahead and select that here. I'm going to go ahead and go into KWRI templates. You can see these are our new newsletter templates here. There are six different newsletters. We have modern A and B, classic A and B, and approachable A and B, and they're all pretty similar, but you can find which one you like best. I'm gonna go ahead and choose approachable A and select that option here. Now from here, we just need to edit and create our newsletter. You'll notice that any text that has these little stars around it, that's going to auto populate and fill from your marketing profile. So we don't have to worry about changing this text here. I'm going to start by changing the headline. I'm going to click on the text that I'd like to edit and then click the pencil button. If I want to delete this, I can go ahead and click on the trash can. So I'm just going to click the pencil button and I can change my text here. I type in my new text, click done, and that will update right away. Next, I wanna change out the content here. You can see this is broken up into two paragraphs. If I wanna change this, I can go ahead and click on that pencil button, or I can delete this option here. Now for this newsletter, I definitely wanna add in some images. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some of these content blocks over here on the right. And let's say I want a photo below this headline. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this image block here and drag it over to the left. And anywhere where the green line appears, that's where the photo is going to drop. So once I get this lined up exactly where I want it, you may have to be a little careful with that. I'm just gonna try dropping it there. Oh, you can see it can be a little tricky. There we go, it plugged in my photo. So now it also brings up select an image. I can choose an image that I've previously uploaded. I can also pull in images from a listing or add images from my computer. I'm gonna start by just selecting one that I already have imported. So I'm going to select my image here and then click save. So you can see it plugged in that photo. It is a little big, so I'm going to click the pencil button and I can change the alignment. I can also link this if I'd like. I can link it to a website, a landing page. 
I'm going to go ahead and change the width and the height. And once I click done at the top, this will readjust. Now you may have multiple different articles, add in different photos. So again, what you can do over here on the right, you can grab, grab any of these content blocks. You can add in a video if you'd like, a listing block to link to a specific listing, buttons. I'll just go ahead and add in some more text and images, so just so it looks more like a newsletter. So I'm going to add in an image over here. Again, wherever that green line appears, that's where the image is going to drop. I'm going to add an image from my computer. Select the image that I just added from my computer and then click save and that'll be plugged in right away. Again, I want this to be the same size, so I'll click that pencil button and just adjust the size real quick. And once I click done, that's added in. I can add in additional text. Just add another text block here. Again, click and edit. I'm clicking the piece of information I'd like to change. Click the pencil. I'll go ahead and paste in some text. Actually, I'm just gonna select this text here. I'm just adding in some filler text here. So again, click on that text box, click the pencil button. I'll copy and paste in that filler text. Of course, these will probably be your newsletter articles that you're adding in. And there we go. Of course, you can adjust the fonts, adjust the sizes, what have you. But there we go. That's the start of a newsletter. If you have a link to a specific article or a specific web page, you can link this button here. I'm just gonna go ahead for the purpose of this, go ahead and link this to our website. So this is a button, it says link copy. I'm going to click the pencil to edit this button. I want the button to say, click here to learn more. And I need to choose where this is going to link to. So I'm going to choose link to web address. And when somebody clicks on this button, they're going to be brought to scottleroymarketing.com. And it looks like you do also need this portion of the link added in before. So there we go. I can also change the color of this button, change the font, change the positioning. You can edit this to customize it in whatever way you prefer. So I'm going to go ahead and click done. So now when anybody clicks on this button, click here to learn more, they will be brought to scottleroymarketing.com. Of course, you can link that to wherever you'd like, but that looks pretty good. I'm gonna go up to the top left and this is the file name. I'm going to change this to monthly newsletter. And you can see once I click away from that, it saves right away. If there are any issues in saving your newsletter, it will alert you and it'll tell you what you need to change or update in order for this to save. If I go over here to options, I have the option to preview, send a test email or download the template. I definitely recommend sending a test email to yourself so you can see what this will look like, but I'm going to go ahead and click preview. And you can see that's my newsletter. And there's all that information that was auto populated for us from our marketing profile. I'm going to exit out of this. This looks good to me. I can go ahead and click save and exit. And when we go back to our campaign, we'll actually be able to see the newsletter over here on the right. Under actions, again, I absolutely recommend sending a test email. But at the top, we have the option to either save this as a draft, we can schedule this so it goes out at a specific date and time, or I can go ahead and send this now. Let's go ahead and click schedule. I'm going to choose tomorrow. If we scroll down a little bit, I can add in the time. Tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. Apply date and time, and then click schedule. And now this will go out tomorrow. You can see this is our newsletter we just set up. 
the status is scheduled and that is the date and time. And once this goes out, I'll be able to see how many views, clicks and bounces it received. So that is how you can access the new newsletter templates within Command.